In this video, we're going to look at overtaking and changing lanes. I'm going to show you how it's done properly, with good observation, while at the same time showing courtesy and respect for other road users. Firstly, be very aware of any local signs and road markings in the area. For example, this road sign here, along with these markings, will help you to be in the correct position up ahead. You must not overtake approaching the brow of a hill or a bend or in any area where your visibility or observation ahead is obstructed or hindered. Do not cross the hatched lines as you can see here in the middle of the road or a little further up don't cross the continuous white lines either unless for an emergency or in exceptional circumstances. You must not overtake or change lanes 15 metres either side of a pedestrian crossing on a two-way street. And if it's a one-way street, you are not permitted to overtake or change lanes 15 metres before or 5 metres after the pedestrian or zebra crossing. So once you have established that it is safe and legal, you may carry out your overtaking or changing lane manoeuvre by checking your mirrors, indicating, checking your mirrors again, giving a quick sideway glance to make sure everything is okay in your blind spot, and then move across gradually, double checking the mirrors as you do so. Don't swerve or make any sharp movements across. Let's have a look at some practical examples now from when I was out driving a couple of weeks ago. You will see me overtaking a truck on a motorway. But firstly, I'll be changing lanes on a dual carriageway. But I'm looking to, to change lanes now, so I'm going to check my mirrors, indicate. Now there's some traffic behind me, so I'm going to have to let them go. I want to get into the left lane to go straight. And um, there's not a break in traffic yet, so I'm just going to stop here now before the broken white lines end. Okay, we've got a good Samaritan there behind us. Quick in the, flick of the shoulder, and looks good. And I give him a thank you for that. So that was when I was trying to change lanes there. It was actually quite busy. I wanted to get across before the broken white lines ended, so I just slowed down, kept my indicator on, quick shoulder check to be sure, and I just gave a quick thank you to the van behind me who kindly let me uh, go across the, and change lanes there. So now I'm driving here on a motorway, and I have a truck coming up in front of me. Now I don't want to overtake him just yet, I see there's a car behind me first, I'm watching him, so I'm going to let that car go first, there he goes. Now mirrors, signal. Just double check the mirrors again, just a quick shoulder check, not for long, just a quick shoulder check, but mainly focusing on the mirrors. Now, I'm out in the right-hand lane, overtaking the truck, and as I'm overtaking him, I'm just giving him a bit of juice, a little bit of a gas, just to get the overtaking maneuver done, but not excessively so. And I'm just watching him here now as I go by him. I want to go back to the left lane, but I want to make sure now that I see the truck fully in my left side mirror first, which I do now. The mirrors indicate, just back in then. When I fully see the truck in my left side mirror, I then feel it's safe to move back in. And just like I move back, just like I moved out gradually, I want to move in gradually as well without cutting across or doing any sharp movements. You will have noticed me there giving a quick sideway glance or a blind spot. Now this is just a quick glance. Um, you're not meant to look behind you because you can't be taking your eyes off the road for too long. Take this example here. As you can see, there's a tree just to the left of the car. I cannot see that tree in either the middle center inside mirror or the left side mirror. But when I give a quick sideway glance, I can see the tree there just through the back passenger window. In this example, there is a blue wheelie bin just to the left of the car here that's parked. Um, it's on the footpath. I cannot see that blue wheelie bin in my centre mirror or my left side mirror, but when I give a quick sideway glance, it is clearly visible there. The blue bin is, is a particularly good example because that would be the typical height of a pedestrian or a cyclist who might be in the other lane beside you as you're driving along. And that's why we should get a quick blind spot check or a quick sideway glance, because no matter how good our mirrors are, we cannot see everything in the mirrors. So that brings us to the end of this video on overtaking and changing lanes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. And I'll see you soon for another video.